All right, so I want to welcome you to another homework tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about the interval homework assignment. So let's go over to the homework assignment so I can better explain. Okay, so the instructions read, in music, the term interval refers to the distance between two notes. Intervals are always counted from the lower number, so the bottom number, to the higher one. The lower number being counted as one. For example, the interval from C, which would be our Do, to D, which would be our Re, okay, is a second. So C is one, that would be Do, and D, which would be Re, would be our second. So that would be a second. And we have an example here, do, do, or one, one, prime. We also talked about unison in class, so don't get confused, it's still unison. One to two, or do to re is second. And do to me is your third. Do to fa is your fourth, one to four. One to five, do to sol is a fifth, and do to la is a six, one to six. Do to t is a seventh, and do to do is your octave, the high do. And we went over this in class, so this is sort of a review. Okay, so let's look here. If two notes are sounded simultaneously, they are harmonic. So let's look here, I'll get a pen. Harmonically is what we're looking at. So as you can see, you have note one here, and then your second note. Remember, intervals are the distance between two notes, and they're stacked. So you have one note at the bottom and one note at the top. And the way we would play these two notes together. They're played simultaneously, meaning they're played together harmonically. But what we've been working on in class is we, we've been singing melodic intervals, okay? And so we've been singing one note at a time. So let's go to our first question. Count the distance from the lower to the higher note and name the interval. So let's count the intervals. So this note is one and it's a line note. And then you can pretend that there would be a space note which would make that two, okay? And I'm gonna just erase it so we can see the board. And then we have the next note which is on the first line, which is, let's get a pen. Hopefully a third, right? And you can see right here that note one is your do, and then the second, the, the second note is on the first line, which is your third. So this would be a third. So they want us to count the distance from the lower to the higher note and name the interval. So in this case, we would put a third. All right, let's do one more. I'll erase this. So let's try this again. First note is one, second space is two, next line is three, next space is four, next line is five. So the distance here would be a fifth. Okay, and this was a third because we're counting the distance, distance, okay? Question number two, write the note that completes the melodic interval above the indicated note. Remember, melodic is, I'm going to call them isolated notes, do to re. They're not simultaneously played together. They're, think of a melody, okay? 
So now write the note that completes the melodic interval above the indicated note. So the first one is a prime note. Remember prime notes first unison, they share the same line or space. So this is on the second line. We want to make this on the same line. So here's our second line. Here's our first note and our second note is on the, the same line because it's prime. It helps think unison. There's no harmony, there's no distance. Okay, now the next question is a third. So now we have to go up a third to make this a melodic interval. If it was harmonic, we would have to stack it. So here's note one, two, three. So this would be our third. All right. And let's see how you do with the next set of melodic intervals. All right. Question number three, indicate whether each interval is harmonic or melodic. Harmonic, they have stacking notes. Melodic, they're separated. Okay, so the first one, they're stacked notes. They're two space notes. We should know that that is a harmonic interval. So we would put an H here. Now we have two notes here but they're not stacked, they are separated. First space, second space, separated notes, M for melodic, okay? And you should be able to finish the remaining uh, intervals. So hopefully you found this video very helpful. If you have any questions, just email me, practice and enjoy.